हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम वंस अगेन एज आई प्रोमिस्ड सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द न्यू वन दैट इज सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन ह्यूमन बींग बिफोर स्टार्टिंग बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दैट आई टोल यू समथिंग ओके लिसन वेरी केयरफुल सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन ह्यूमन बींग sexual reproduction in human being in sexual reproduction in human being so many things will be here but first listen very carefully i am going to tell you one flow chart but first to see that flow chart after that we will de- describe all the reproductive part of the human being suppose that here is the male it will be cross with the female okay as we already know that from class previous classes from 7th or 8th classes in the male there is the testis theek hai testis produce sperm that is sperm is also called as male gamete that is also called as male gamete here is female female has ova sorry ovary ovary produce ova or ovum or female gamete here we arrow this because one point will be there but you have to know about that is male is male is sperm male gam male gamete is called as sperm and female gamete is called as ova or ovum okay so formation of sperm formation of sperm is called as spermatogenesis spermato genesis spermatogenesis formation of sperm is called spermatogenesis and formation of ova is called oogenesis formation of ova is called oogenesis okay formation of gametes formation of gametes that is male gamete or female gamete is called gameto genesis is called gametogenesis okay after the fusion there will be a fertilization 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 later we will discuss about the fertilization that fertilization are of two type that is external or internal external means if the fusion of male and female gamete will be occur at outside of the body is called as external fertilization and the and the fusion of male and female gamete will be take place inside of the body that is called as what internal fertilization so after the fertilization after the fertilization male and female gamete okay there is the formation of zygote 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 will develop to form embryo formation of embryo is called embryogenesis embryo genesis theek okay. hai that embryo is rather that it was developed into the fetus fetus and it will be developed into the baby okay this from embryo to the development of baby is called as fasciation period fasciation period theek okay. hai and the development of zygote into the baby is called as gestation period so these two points are very important and basically in uh, not in the board examination but in the NT, in competitive examination that is ntsc olympiad examination the question will be definitely it was arise okay that is the posturization and gestation period okay so simple this one is that 
in this way you see that that testis I produce a sperm, a sperm that is gamete is equal to n number and this one is a n number that the zygote is a 2 n because this one is a fuse and it forms 2 n. So here is also 2 n, here is also 2 n and then the baby is also a 2 n number. We later we will discuss that is what is applied and what is deployed but here you listen. Okay. So one condition is that that we are that human beings are unisexual, unisexual. The word will come that is unisexual or diocese. Diocese. Unisexual or diocese. Uni. Uni means one. Sexual means sex that is male or female. Male or female. Di means two. CS means body. It means two body. It means two bodies are required for the different sex. So in one body it will be a female and second body it was a male. So male and female are present in a different body that that condition is called as unisexual or diocious. Okay. Second thing is that is not in your syllabus but you know about that bisexual. Bisexual is called monoceous. Here we will return that is bisexual. Bisexual is also called monoceous. Monoceous. Here it is bi means two. Sexual means sex that is male and female. Here is mono. Mono means one. Cs means body. It means in one body, in one body, both sex that is male and female, both sex are present in a single body. This condition is called as bisexual or monoceous. Okay. So this this one is the, be in your mind because uh, so many examination it will be asked. But now come to the next one. Next one is very simple. Next one is very simple. First, you listen very carefully. So, this one. First condition. Second condition is haploid and diploid. Haploid and diploid. What is haploid and what is diploid? Listen very carefully. Suppose that in our body the chromosome number is 46. Or it will be right that 23, 23 pair. Here it will be right that 23 pair. As you already know that in our body that 46 chromosome number are there. It will be right that 23. Suppose that suppose 23 is equal to n. Suppose that 23 is equal to n. Here we will write that 2 into 23. That is also correct. Here we will write that 2 into 23 that is also correct. So 23 is equal to n. So we will write 2n. If the condition is 2n, it means whole number of 46, that condition is called as diploid. That condition is called as diploid. When it means the chromosome number will be 2n, that condition is called as diploid. If there will be half number of chromosome, because you already know that. You are, here you already have 23 pair, 23 pair that is male is crossed with female that is 23 pair. Then there is a gamete formation to 23 here, 23 here and here is again 23 here, 23 here. So here, here is the half number of chromosomes are present so it is called as N. So half of the number of chromosome, half of the number of chromosome called haploid. So these are some points you have to know about the haploid and diploid and another thing this one is most important because so many questions will be arise from that is spermatogenesis, oogenesis, gametogenesis, embryogenesis okay embryogenesis okay this are gastrocin, prostration periods so, so many things. Now. These are some points which you have already remembered okay from till the class 8th or class 7 these are the normal things okay. Now I am going to discuss about firstly we will discuss about the male reproductive organ male reproductive organ male reproductive organ 
first thing just listen very carefully that is male reproductive organ is present outside of the abdominal cavity outside of the abdomen present outside of abdomen first thing the question is arise that why it was present acha second thing is that the place where testis will present the place where the place where the the bag like structure bag like structure in which testis is present called scrotum called scrotum this one is important one okay and the liquid which are present inside inside it is called as scrotal sac and the liquid is called as scrotal sac and liquid liquid called scrotal sac so these are some points okay second thing is that the temperature of scrotum temperature of scrotum temperature of scrotum will be less or uh, sorry will be higher than boil temperature 1 to 2 degree higher than the body temperature okay 1 to 2 degree celsius 1 to 2 degree celsius higher than the body temperature because on that temperature there is the formation of sperm okay clear this one uh, first thing. so th these are some points okay these are some points about that uh, testis testis is a endocrine gland endocrine gland which release a hormone that is called as testosterone testosterone or androgen testosterone or androgen okay or androgen so testosterone and which have which help for the male secondary for the formation of sperm and also responsible for male secondary sexual character male secondary sexual character so these are some points about the male reproductive organ and uh, so later we will discuss about so many points but first we will see the diagram of the male reproductive organ because that diagram is most important if you want to diagram thing any way you have you, from any copy you have to draw it but if you want to draw like this you have to draw it no problem is it okay listen it very carefully this is the typical diagram of male reproductive organ okay this one is the typical diagram of male reproductive organ which we can easily see here so so many things 
are here, but first you listen very carefully. This is called as testis. So, one pair that is 1 and 2 testis, as if one pair of testis is present, one pair of testis is present, okay. That testis, you see that uh, that is uh, a layer attachment with a layer is called as endometrium. Okay, that which is not in your syllabus, just think about that. It is called as endometrium. Okay, okay. That testis is attached to a tube that is called as spondoct, spondoct, or was difference. or was difference okay first you draw like this first you draw it first okay clear so these are some points this is structure you see that this sperm duct will be open into a common duct will be open into a common duct but above above the common duct a layer is present a hard layer is present called now you know that everything about this one So, here you see that sperm duct or was difference will be there. This one is the testis, and testis is present in the bag like structure that is called a seminal vesicles. Okay. Now, you see that this sperm duct, this sperm duct will be open into a common duct, into a common duct is called as urethra. Urethra. It will be open into a common duct called urethra. In urethra, so many things are there because above that above that here this is the tube which will come from the kidney that is unibladder it will film this one is structure is called as unibladder this is called as unibladder so a common path a common path is that where the sperm and urine both will come so it will also called as urino genital duct urinogenital duct because it was the common path through which both sperm and urine will become okay now come to the next one huh, this layer the, the layer which is fixed to the test is called as epididymis 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 okay a muscular layer which was present above the urethra is called as penis is called as penis okay above that penis some glands are present this is called as prostate gland prostate gland prostate gland okay and this one is called as seminal vesicle seminal vesicle here one gland is also present here one gland is also present is called copper's gland copper's gland copper's gland the work of copper's gland is very simple uh, one by one we have to know about the work of all the things first listen very carefully this testis this one is a testis is help in the formation of a sperm it been test is helping the formation of a sperm formation of a sperm formation of a sperm okay the epididymis help to attach that test is on their fixed position attain the position of testis attain the position of testis okay through that through that testis sperm duct or was difference was difference 
receive that sperm it means this was receive sperm okay later that sperm will enter into the common duct that is called as what urethra okay and above that a muscular layer is present that is common that is penis help in ejaculation of sperm help in ejaculation of sperm okay so these are some points come to the gland gland copper's gland give sugar copper's gland it, it will be not in your course but in competitive examination as i already told in NTSC Olympiad examination, the copper's gland will become. So, in copper's gland, copper's gland has give uh, sugar to the develop to the giving sperm. Okay. Seminal vesicle and prostate gland. Seminal vesicle and prostate gland. To these two glands, these two glands that is seminal vesicle and prostate glands, both are help to give nutrition. Give nutrition and make the path smooth for sperm make the path smooth for sperm so this one this is the typical diagram of male reproductive organ this one is important one because there are so many question will be arises so okay so many questions will be arises and so many glands are there so maximum question will be arise that one okay now come to the female reproductive organ come to the female reproductive organ in female reproductive organ first thing is that it is present inside the abdominal cavity not the outside first thing. second thing i am going to draw the diagram diagram you have to draw it very carefully the diagram is very simple very simple diagram is will there So this one is the diagram of uh, female reproductive organ. Simply you draw it like this. Okay. First thing, this one is ovary. Ovary produces ova, that is female gamete. Okay. Same. I will just comparison it to both one. That is here one pair of testes. This one pair of ovary. Help in the formation of ova. Formation of Ova. Okay, a finger-like structure which was just attached to the ovary is called fimbri. It's called fimbri. Okay, a duct which receives that ova is called oviduct or fallopian tube. Ovi duct or fallopian tube. Okay, so these ducts are arises to the common duct. This one is the common duct is called as uterus. Is called as uterus. Inside the uterus, a wall is there that is called as endometrium. Endometrium. A wall is there that is called as endometrium. In, in on the wall of endometrium, some finger-like structure are present. That finger-like structure is called as villi or villi. 
which help to increase the surface area for the proper development of a baby. This is structure is called as cervix, and this is structure is called vagina. This is structure is called vagina. So these are the common structure of female reproductive organ. But so many things will be arises from that. No any glands will be there here. But in higher classes, we have to know some glands also. But here that is not in your syllabus that no gland is there. So one by one we will discuss here about all the things. Ova. Now, ova. That is ovary. Ovary is an endocrine gland. Endo. crime gland which release a hormone which release a hormone not one hormone that is two hormone okay second one, first one is called as estrogen 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 hormone help in the formation of it it means estrogen hormone it was help in the formation of help in the formation of ova and also for female secondary sexual character female secondary sexual character okay so this one is the one second one is called progesterone progesterone it is also called as birth hormone during the birth of a baby if this hormone will be helpful for the double, uh, growth of a baby okay so these are the two hormones which was released by the ovary okay first thing second thing is that one ovary in alternate month one ovary produce one ova okay so the point is very simple alternate month one ovary produce one ova okay the age the age at which formation of ova formation of ova will be started will be started called menarch menarch name is very simple and stopped stop the formation of ova formation of ova called meno pause called meno pause okay so in the alternate month okay it will it help in the formation of ova okay so that cycle one cycle is operated in that that is called as menstruation cycle that is called as menstruation cycle it is commonly called as mc that menstruation cycle will be completed in 28 days 28 days but that menstruation cycle will be not in your syllabus okay suppose that suppose that if the vagina will be not receive the sperm that vagina will be not receive the sperm so ovary produce ova this ovary produce ova and that ova will become here will become here okay so 
सो मेनी ब्लड कैपिलरीज विल बी हियर सो मेनी ब्लड कैपिलरीज विल बी हियर सो मेनी ब्लड कैपिलरीज विल बी हियर सो बाय द प्रेशरिंग ऑफ दिस ओवा बाय द प्रेशरिंग ऑफ दिस ओवा द ब्लड कैपिलरीज विल बी रप्चर्ड दिस ब्लड कैपिलरी विल बी रप्चर्ड ओके एंड अन फर्टिलाइज ओवा विथ ब्लड विल बी रिलीज फ्रॉम द बॉडी थ्रू वजाइना इन द लास्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट डेज दैट इज सिक्स लास्ट वन वीक दैट इज सिक्स टू सेवन डेज द अनफर्टिलाइज अनफर्टिलाइज ओवा प्लस ब्लड विल बी रिलीज फ्रॉम द बॉडी ऑफ फीमेल दिस कॉल्ड दिस इज कॉल्ड कॉमनली कॉल्ड एज ब्लीडिंग पीरियड्स ब्लीडिंग periods or commonly called as periods so so many things we have to know about this okay so many things that we know about this so female reproductive organ and male reproductive organ now we are going to discuss about the fertilization about the fertilization now listen very carefully so these are some points I'm going to erase it. First thing is that fertilization is internal because it will be take place inside the body. That is, it will be internal. Okay. Suppose that. Hum, we will draw only one-sided diagram. will draw only one sided diagram okay that will not draw so this way suppose that ova will be here this one is ova and through this sperm will be enter through this sperm will be enter so after reaching the sperm here it will be fused so fertilization will be occur so there will be a formation of zygote zygote okay so here it is called as this structure is called as fertilization so fertilization will be take place in oviduct is oviduct or fallopian tube this one is the most important question will be asked in the examination so and there will be a zygote formation after developing of zygote there will be a division that is marula blastula or so many stages are there but okay later that zygote will be developed into the embryo so many divisions are be there suppose that this structure is called as embryo embryo this embryo will be attached to the wall of endometrium at the place where it was attached the place where it was attached is called placenta the place where it was attached is called placenta okay in the wall of endometrium the place where it was attached is called at is called placenta through the if for it it was attached then it is called as fetus developing it means develop it was developed that is called as fetus and later that fetus is developed into the baby and for the developing of baby one tube like structure will be attached to the this one okay to the mothers okay that is called as umbilical cord that is called as umbilical cord this umbilical cord it has it attached to the baby to the body of mother where and where the digested food will be come into the body of baby oxygen will also transfer through this and all the structure it was there okay so these are some structure where the fertilization will be there where the structure will be there so here we will discuss about the sexual 
part or the sexual reproduction of human being okay you have to draw the diagram of both one because both one is the most important 